US dollar is hitting the highest levels we've seen in a long, long time. Um, against the euro and the sterling, it's up about 10% year to date, but it's actually hitting levels against the euro we haven't seen in 20 years and against the sterling we haven't seen in, in over 30 years. Um, what I want to find out is why has the currency continued to strengthen as it has? I want to understand what we think is going to happen next. What's our view? And finally, what does this mean for clients' investment portfolios? So, Bailey, let's start off with the why has the dollar strengthened so significantly? Yeah, sure. There are many, many factors that determine the performance of the currency, but there are two key things driving markets at the moment, and that's interest rates and market uncertainty. After years of low interest rates, the Fed is now starting to hike due to the high inflation levels that we're seeing. And uh, higher interest rates mean higher, higher returns for investors. So why wouldn't you hold your money in a US bank account rather than elsewhere? That's why investors often look at interest rate differentials when trading FX. And then on the market uncertainty side, the dollar is a safe haven currency, which has been much more attractive to investors more recently, for example, during China's zero COVID policy, uh, during the war in Ukraine, and we're seeing more examples of stalling growth. And that is the reason why dollar demand can persist, even during sizable fluctuations and volatility in markets. Okay, so higher interest rates in the US attracts money, makes sense, and, and secondly, as always, the dollar is often seen as a safe haven, and that's been the case now with all the uncertain economic markets. Bailey, I'm looking at my screen, and it's saying that one euro buys me one dollar and four cent. We're almost at parity. Extremely strong levels for the dollar. Where to from here? Well, as we've said, there are definitely lots, lots and lots of factors at play, so it's not so straightforward, but we do think the strength should remain. And that's because of the points we spoke about previously. That's because of the higher interest rates and because of that market uncertainty. Okay, really clear. Now, what does this mean for investors' portfolios? Trying to put it really simply, a stronger dollar is usually negative for global economic growth. A strong dollar usually harms the economies of emerging market countries because they're often reliant on foreign investment. And that can evaporate a bit when investors feel that they can get a safer return elsewhere. And it also makes it harder for countries to pay their dollar-denominated debt. Their debt levels go up when the dollar goes up. And then, on the other hand, a strong dollar benefits companies in the US and benefits you if you hold dollars, either in equity terms or in cash terms in your portfolio. Okay, okay. So kind of some good, some bad. Not so good for emerging markets. Um, but if you are an investor that holds U.S. equities in your portfolio, they've obviously fallen this year given what's going on in markets, but that's been offset a bit because you've got the appreciation of the dollar to, to cushion the falls a bit. Okay, Bailey, really clear as always, um, we will be back next week. We will put a fund manager on the spot and we will ask the difficult question and we look to do it in about five minutes. Until next week, see you.